All right, so here they want us to solve for x. So the first thing I would do is try and simplify and deal with this parentheses right here. Because in order to get this x minus 5 out of the parentheses, I first must distribute this 2 to each part. There are other options, but I think that this is probably the easiest way of going. So I'm going to think of this as 3x minus, well, I guess here I have to make a decision. Do I think of this as 3x minus this term or 3x plus a negative 2 times this term? And that's what I think I'll do. Instead of subtracting this term, I'm going to add the negative of this term. Same thing. And this just makes things a little bit easier as we work out the sign values in each part. So all I did was sub switch the signs from subtracting a positive to adding a negative. Those are always the same thing. For example, 4 minus 2 is 2. Well, 4 plus a negative 2 is also 2. Here, subtracting positive 2 is the same as adding a negative 2. And the same thing is true up here. So let me clear this off. So now, um, as I simplify, this is just easier to keep track of the signs. And what I mean is I take negative 2 and multiply it by x. Using the, the distributive property, I get negative 2x. And then negative 2 times negative 5, which is positive 10. This is going to equal negative 10, right? And we still want to include this right here. So it's 3x plus this. So if I simplify this now, I get 3x minus 2x, right? Adding a negative 2x, plus 10 equals negative 10. So now 3x is minus 2x, that's just x. And if I subtract 10 from both sides, I get x equals, well, here if I subtract 10, this is 0. Here if I subtract 10, that's negative 10 minus 10, which is negative 20. And that's my answer. Thanks.